I think both are gonna come down. Oh my god! Hey, good morning, guys. It just started raining, but right in front of me is uh, the materials for Michelle's house. So, what we're gonna do is maybe not today, but hopefully soon we can start to carry this to Michelle's house. And it is quite far. And uh, this is another big thank you for all the donations. We are hiring lots of people to carry all this stuff to Michelle's house. And that helps a lot with the people around here. We're hiring all locals to carry all this because it's quite a walk. We're going through the mud. Hey. We're going through the mud, we're going through uphills, downhill, and a whole bunch of that stuff. So this is not going to be easy, but luckily we do have a lot of help, and we're going to pay each one of them. So thank you guys very much for the donations for that. And then I'll walk down there in a second. If it doesn't start pouring down rain, I'll go to Michelle's, and uh, I think they're digging the hole right now for the CR. So hopefully we can get that started. I think the next couple of days, maybe the weather should be better, but... You know, the weather changes so quickly here. But you guys, thanks again so much. I just want to show you guys that the materials did come. Hey, guys. <laughs> so you guys take care and God bless. Unfortunately, we do have to walk this all to Michelle's house. We can't use a bike because it's just so muddy. And we're going through the rivers. We're going uphills, downhills, and it's really muddy. So a bike is just impossible. But I'm going to walk back if the rain is starting to pick up. But we do have a lot of projects going on right now. So, uh, which is a really good thing. Over there is we're finishing the well. So, uh, and of course we have to wait on good weather with that. The weather here, you know, we just have to wait on good days. So that kind of slows us down a lot. But then we're also, we just finished Nympha CR. And um, then we're going to start Michelle CR and then Raymond's house. And I'm probably forgetting something, but um, it's really awesome. And later today, um, if you guys remember Gladys, we've been meaning to do this, but she had to get an ID for her bank account. She's going to open a bank account. And today we're going to deposit $1,000. That's 50 thousand pesos I think but anyway so that's huge news so we're gonna try to do that today and I do have to ride my motorbike there though so I have to wait until it stops raining but uh I'm gonna walk back up and hopefully the rain stops and we'll see you guys later <laughs> all right so we got most of the crew here we're still waiting on some more people to come, but uh, we're gonna get started. And some of the questions were asked like, why don't we use a Carabao? Uh, that's a good idea, but first we'd have to rent one, and um, then we just pay the Carabao owner, and that's it. Here, we can pay many people to help, so uh, we'd rather have helpers than just pay one person. So we're gonna get to hire all these people, and then um, and thank you again for all the donations. It helps pay for all the workers, and of course pay for the CR, and everything that involves things like this. But this is not an easy job. Ooh. <laughs> Raymond, be careful. <laughs> but you can see we have a long way to go. They can start here, then all Hi. the way. Hey! <laughs> and then go all the way to Michelle's house. And it's a muddy day. It just finished raining um, maybe 15, 20 minutes ago. But everyone's helping. So a lot of hard workers today. Be safe, guys. Watch your step. <laughs> Hopefully they're not too wet. Small but beautiful. <laughs> Fifty pieces each. If they broke. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Four pieces, man. All right, so they're going this way. That's another way to go to Michelle's house. So there's the well, and there's Raymond's house, and they're gonna walk all this way to Michelle's house. Neckler. Watching. <laughs> 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 What's up, John? <laughs> So this is not an easy job as well. 
Yeah. It's pilet. It's pilet. It's sticky. Aku tu, aku kau lemon, aku kau melik, aku nak tuh minto. Madi, lapuk. Madi is lapuk. Lapuk, ya. Lapuk, pilit, lapuk, pilit. So this is pilit, pilit sticky, and then lapuk is muddy. Muddy. Alright. It's like clay. Yeah. Michelle has a sand tall tree right in her backyard. Very cool. There's a few high ones up there. I'm gonna take you. There's never a dull moment with Pilsum. Those sandbags are bugat. Another word of the day. Bugat is heavy. This is a path that runs to Michelle's house and I just got some jackfruit, one of my favorites. Thank you. Look at these jackfruits on the tree. Wow, there's like five up there, or seven, two, and some there. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you, Limit Kayo. <laughs> All right, I'll take that one or go. Imogyo ko. Ay, pinoa ay Do you knock on, do you knock on it, right? Wow, she's a she's a pro. Oh my gosh. She's way better than me. Wow. Hi. How did you get up there so fast? Man. That's impressive. Right now, right? How are you gonna get over there? Oh, right. Ah, you know, 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 I think both are gonna come down. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, it's very sticky. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck in the ground. <laughs> nice jackfruits. <laughs> wow. She is impressive. <laughs> you guys are all strong. Hey guys, I'm down here at the well. They have the roof on. And you can see there's some shade here now. So if you want to take a bath or wash your clothes, we can actually protect ourselves from the sun. So that's really cool. So you got this bamboo ladder. So it looks like they're making the supports and also for the roofing. It looks like we need probably one more 10. But very cool, that's awesome. I need to take a bath here later anyway. But then another thing I'm gonna do while I'm down here, I'm gonna go check on the hollow blocks. I drove past, so it looks like all the hollow blocks are gone. So they got all the hollow blocks to Michelle's house. And I think the sand is left. The sand is the hardest part, cause that's really heavy. But I'm gonna walk up there and then I walk to Michelle's house. Yesterday I had to leave early. I went to town with uh, Gladys, Richie, and Chalamet. And we got Gladys' uh, bank account. And we deposited 50,000 pesos. That's around like $1,000. So that's really cool. Oh wow, they got all the sand done and the hollow blocks. Very cool. All right, so I'm gonna take a walk to Michelle's and see the progress there. Well, yesterday, everyone came to work. It was really cool. I didn't get the videotape everybody helping, but there's Jerome, there's Duran, there's Don Don. There's like everybody in the neighborhood. And it gets really muddy, especially when you're going like up and down the hill and where lots of people walk, it's really muddy. So people were falling, uh, blocks were breaking. 
Fortunately, no one got hurt, so that's really good. And having a care about or ATV might make the job a little bit easier, but um, things like this, I don't see how a care about would go through here. And there's other places too that I don't think it'd be possible. And you know, with having an ATV and the care about, you're only paying like one or two people. But when you're doing manpower, you're paying individual people. So you're helping a lot more people. So it just kind of depends how you look at it. If you want it done quick, and you know, maybe a little bit easier, you can do it that way. And, but still, I don't see how we can get a care about through here. And, but if you want to do it the other way, you know, I'm getting to know everyone around here. Everyone needs money and everyone would appreciate a job. So it's nice when you can help out a lot more people than just like one or two people. So when you have like 15 people working, you get to pay that many people. I picked the perfect time to come here. Everyone's enjoying the corn. <laughs> mm. So all the blocks are here. This is all the sand or the moon. And this here wasn't regular sand. It was like clay, like really hard clay. So they have a suntal tree and they have a column and sea tree. And today I'm gonna try to dig a little bit. Kian is gonna hold the camera for me, thanks. I think it's better just to take off my shoes. <laughs> it's lapo. Lapo, yeah. Clay. <laughs> Oh. Hey! Wow! Poor little guy. This guy didn't make it. Huh? Frog. A frog? Yeah. I think it was a. I think it was a mouse. Oh, a frog here! <laughs> wow! Look, there's one, two, three, four. Uncle Ear, when he got up, he afraid. Wait! Wait! <laughs> He jumped. <laughs> There's one more somewhere. I don't want to step on him. Do you see it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Here. Is there one more? Yeah. Where? Oh. The lapuk is sticky. Yeah, Joke. very sticky. sticky. I don't la puk was uh, ooh. I don't la puk was muddy. Yeah. What's sticky? Pilet. Pilet. Okay. Yeah. So this la puk is pilet. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the diggers. This is not an easy job. They dug this whole thing. Bye. Bye! Oh. Look at that. Look at that, that does not come off. <laughs> that is stuck on there. <laughs> you can make stuff out of this. Yeah. A clay. Yeah. <laughs> Here, you can go sell this when you walk around. Tell them it's bread. <laughs> it's pan. It's hot dog. <laughs> it's a hot dog. <laughs> I think it's easier just to use your hands. Yeah. I love this handle. That's cool. Ooh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> that almost looks like a turtle. Yeah. Does yeah. yeah. that look like a mouth? Yeah. Oh. 
Okay. What do you think, a turtle or a dog or a cat? A turtle. A turtle. Yeah, I think it looks like a turtle. There's the mama and there's the baby. little baby. I think it needs one more leg. Oh, it's a big foot. <laughs> All right, nice little family. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it was a happy family. <laughs> now, if you stick that in the oven, it'll turn hard. And it'll never fall apart. Lapuk. Lapuk. All right, now. How do I get out of here? <laughs> but a big shout out to everyone who's been helping with the hollow blocks, carrying it from all the way to the road, all the way here, and then the big bags of sand, and then digging that hole. Digging that hole is not easy, but it's nice having all these people. It's really coming along. We should get that finished probably in the next few days or so. It depends on the weather. And that's the good thing about having all these helpers. We can get jobs like this done in no time from the people helping with the hollow box to digging the hole to everything that goes around. It just gets done that much quicker. And there's pros and cons about like getting a carabao and getting a trailer and carrying all the blocks that way. That way you're only paying the carabao owner and maybe one or two workers. If you do it this way, you're paying all the workers, like 15 to 20 workers, and then they take that money and be able to feed their family. So, you know, if I had a choice between those two options, I'd choose, you know, hiring more people so they can go back and feed their family instead of just helping like one or two people. So renting a care about is a good idea, but I still think that hiring more people is a better option. Hey, how are you? What are you guys doing? Oh, you're making the roof? Yeah, For your house? Yeah. Oh, very cool. So what type of tree is this? Buli. Buli? Yeah. All right, so Buli is this tree right here. And, that, and that's another good thing for the roof. Yeah. All right, cool. So all this is going to be used for the roof. Nice. You guys want a sand tall? What? I have three sand talls. <laughs> Owen? You want sand tall? No? I'll put them here for you. <laughs> if you change your mind. Uh, shout out for Mary May, Mary May Katubis, and John Maytan. All right. I watch your YouTube. Oh, cool, Japan. man. Thank you. <laughs> I still consider those things just a big puppy. All right, so I'm gonna go take a bath. I'm gonna go test out the new roof at the well. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow.